What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're going over the rigid uh, close quarters pipe cutter and their ratcheting handle. So uh, I'm going to show you exactly what I think about this tool and if you should buy one. This is another one of those awesome tools under 30 bucks. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, if you're just now joining the channel, uh, I do a playlist on awesome tools under $30. Um, this two-in-one automatic feeder and ratcheting handle for the close cutter pipe, uh, the pipe cutter is a pretty awesome tool for under $30. Let's start off with the negative things I have to say about it. Uh, initially, the, the ratcheting mechanism here seems a little chintzy and cheap. It's plastic. Um, it does hold the uh, the pipe cutter very uh, very solid. Um, Got to figure out how the heck it goes in here. Okay, it holds the pipe cutter very solid. Um, it allows you to spin it very easily. I do like that about it. Um, but the plastic just seems a little chintzy, and uh, it might not last long. So this is an initial. Uh, you know, review. I've, I've cut a couple pieces of pipe with it and I just feel like there's a little bit to be desired in the sloppiness of, of having that plastic there, but it's not terrible. Now, one thing I have to say about these is I've owned these in the past. These, uh, the, uh, they're self-tensioned uh, pipe cutters. So it says automatic feed, but what it's telling you to do is tighten it two additional turns in order to load the spring on it. So there's a spring in the bottom of it. So when you tighten it down to the pipe, uh, it, the instructions tell you to turn it two more extra turns. Now, using these in the past, I have found that if you use it on soft copper of any kind, like a line set or uh, just soft copper in general, it will literally oblong it within uh, three quarters of a turn. So it wants you to load this spring up to be auto feed uh, with you know two additional turns if you're if you're dealing with hard copper it can take it um, it even kind of oblongs that though too so um, you know if you didn't have this handle and you were trying to get this bad boy two additional turns after it's touched the tubing um, you're not going to be able to turn this by hand so I'm going to show you right now uh, we'll go ahead and put it on here uh, it, it, it has touched the pipe and you can see the spring start to, you know, kind of just depress a little bit, but we'll go two full turns as said in the directions. There's a half, there's one, there's one and a half, and there's two. So you can, man, it's very, very hard to turn this thing with two additional turns. So if you were working with it in close quarters, um, you know, it would just be a little bit of a bear to do. But that is what they call automatic feed. And I really, you know, all it's doing is keeping tension on it. Um, it does take a little bit of extra effort to spin this thing around. Um, initially two hands. Um, this is hard copper piping, some thick tube stuff. So, uh, you know, there it was automatic feed. You didn't have to turn it anymore, but you know, you, you basically what you're doing is you're just tightening it down extra tight and letting it cut itself. So if you want to use that automatic feed feature uh, with the handle on it, that's what it's designed for um, so that you do not need to put both hands on it. Now, I feel that if you put this on the handle, that it is no longer a close quarters uh, kind of tool. Um, it definitely handles bigger pipe than stuff like this Rothenberger uh, little guy. This thing only does up to seven eighths. Um, the, the rigid does like an inch and a quarter or an inch and an eighth, I think is what they call for. But once you put this on here and, you know, for instructional purposes only here in the garage for good video, um, you know, I've got uh, a pipe here in the vise. We're going to go two turns just like I did before, half, one, one and a half, two. All right, so two full turns, and then let's use the ratcheting uh, mechanism. All 
All right, so uh, it, it's not terrible. With the handle on here, um, it makes it a lot more, uh, you have a lot more leverage and your ability to turn it is a lot better. But um, by no means is this like an auto feed in how I would define it where it's slowly cranking it down for you. Um, you would not be able to use this auto feed feature on any kind of soft copper. It would literally just roll the tube. Um, it definitely gives you a lot more uh, you know, leverage than these smaller guys. So there is an advantage there. Um, I would I would recommend this tool. I, I, I wouldn't recommend the auto feed if you're doing anything other than hard copper or um, some thicker wall pipe. You're just not going to be uh, satisfied with it. You're literally gonna oblong the pipe. You're just gonna, you're gonna tear it up. So uh, the auto feed is only for the, those hard copper situations and uh, I, I basically wouldn't even recommend it for any kind of plastic or PVC. It's just not going to work. Um, certainly not anything that's delicate whatsoever. So uh, I definitely like the tool. It gives you a lot more leverage. Um, the, the fit and finish with the plastic is my main qualm about this. It could be a little better, but for $30, I mean, we're getting a pretty good tool here. So you know, I'll add it to the arsenal. It's probably not something I'll grab all the time. I'm gonna have to, you know, heck, I, I've been rocking this Rothenberger uh, pipe cutter for years. Uh, some of my bigger some of my bigger pipe cutters are the bigger rigid ones. Um, I've had one of these auto feed uh, rigid pipe cutters for uh, many years now. Um, I think they came out a year and a half ago, two years now. I don't remember when, but I always had that qualm about them that you just need to tighten it down and it's basically spring loaded. So those are my thoughts on it. I'll keep, I'll quit bumping my gums. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You got some information out of it. Um, King of the crease. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And you know what I always say, we'll see you guys in the next video.